what up Dutch email here back with another RPG tutorial this is part six and it will be on quests and how to do that so what I've done is I went ahead and created um, like a piece of paper and that's gonna be what you need to gather for our quest now I've also made that uh, available in the inventory and if you haven't seen the in my inventory tutorial a link will be in the description so that's how you do that so um, what I've done is I've pretty much just created this dude in the corner and you have to go talk to him and once you talk to him you have to go down this alleyway here and gather the scroll and there will be enemies and stuff that will be in later tutorials on how to do and this black bar um, will stop the player from going down this alleyway until they talk to this guy so let's go and do that so I'm gonna create a new group and it's just gonna be called quest and we're gonna create an object and this is going to be called OBJ quest and this is going to be the main quest controller so in the create event we're going to set a variable global dot quest one equals false this means the quest is not active okay in the step event what we're going to do is um, say if global dot quest equals true um, with obj block or no what is it called my bad uh, quest one okay so with obj quest one now this is the block that stops them from uh, passing by unless the quest is active so we're gonna instance destroy with that okay so what I mean is it's just gonna destroy this so what we need to do is go ahead and talk to him so we can activate the quest. So in our dude, we're going to um, left pressed, say if global.quest1 equals false, do some curly brackets, show message, um, go get my scroll for me please and I'm sure you can think of something more creative than that but then we're gonna set global.quest1 to equal true and by that equaling true uh, sorry quest1 in here this is going to go ahead and um, no hang on a second yeah, quest one. So that variable is going to act, act be true, which is going to destroy this. So we can save that. And let's go ahead and try it out. So here I am. I'm walking down. And let's go down here. As you can see, we cannot get through. I've made it invisible, but I can't get through here. Okay. Now, if we go ahead and click on him, okay, global quest one. All right, so there's an unknown variable here. Let's just go ahead and check that out. Creative event global quest one. We're just gonna call global quest. Okay. So in this dev event, quest. And quest. That should be right. Oh, my bad. I forgot to put it in the room. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Make sure to put your OBJ quest in a room. Okay. So. Okay. So. If we go ahead and check down here. Again, you can't get through. And if we go ahead and click on him, go get my scroll for me, please. That will activate global.quest to equal true. And as you can see, we can now go through here. Some death issues, death issues there, but we can fix that. You want to click on that? It's now in our inventory, and we would have to go give it back. So what we're going to do for that is. Uh, if we click on the item, 
global dot scroll or no 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 global dot quest scroll equals true and we will again set that up in the obj quest so global dot quest scroll equals false and if you click on him so we're gonna check if global dot quest equals false and if global dot quest equals true and and the double and sign global dot quest scroll equals false it's gonna show a message what are you doing go get my scroll so we'll just go ahead and copy that and paste it down if global at quest equal true and global at quest scroll equals true we're gonna say thank you very much exclamation point and we're gonna set global at quest to equal false and um, yeah, there's going to be an inventory issue, but um, you can figure that out just by having it uh, destroy. So, so as we go, we click on them. Go get my scroll, please. What are you doing? Go get my scroll. Okay, what are you doing? So this is if quest equals true. And we don't have the scroll. So now we go down and get the scroll. Oh, I said scroll a lot. So we go down here. And we get the scroll form. And we go ahead and give it to him. Thank you very much, you'll say. Uh, go get my scroll for me, please. We'd have to set another variable for that. Um, so then we would just set another variable like um, quest finished equals false, and then we would set quest finished equal true in here. But let's also give him global dot xp plus equals 25. We can give him plus equals 25. And again, I know the scroll didn't take away from our inventory, but all we would really have to do is um, we would have to uh, do with uh, slot one or no, obj slot one scroll equals false and global dot or uh, sl Global dot slot one equals false or something. No, we would just do scroll equals false. So we just copy that. So two, three, four, five, and six. So that should take the scroll away. If it doesn't, then there's probably just some minor error that we have but yeah so let's go ahead and get the quest yes okay we're going to get it we're going to get it this is probably going to be unsynced too because of YouTube but um, just you pretty much you get it so we get the scroll scroll is with us and we go back to him. And again, there will be some enemies there, which will probably be in the next tutorial, but go ahead and give it to him. Thank you very much. Scroll is gone, and we have 25 XP. So, that was the tutorial for today. Hope you liked it, and go ahead and leave a thumbs up if you liked it, and go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and comment, too, because I need your comments. 
and tell me if you liked it, if I need to explain furthermore. And yeah, gotta go though because this is gonna be very unsynced. I will see you later.